I welcome you all for this wonderful musical morning of Muthuswami Dikshidar's Navagraha Kritis. We are thankful to Dr. M.P. Atreya, Management Exponent and Padmabhushan Awardee, Sri N.V. Raman, Eminent Legal Consultant, for gracing this musical morning today. For the ceremonious lighting of lamp, I invite Dr. Atreya, Srimati Geeta Atreya, Sri N. V. Raman, and Ramachandran Mama from Gayatri Fine Arts to be on the stage, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
can listen to these kritis beyond bhakti and spirituality from a literary perspective. Uh, uh, these are not uh, mutually exclusive. We can do more, of, more than one level. And those of us who, who have a background in literature, interest in literature, we can look at the profound meanings in each kriti with references to places, events, persons, characters from the uh, classical literature. Uh, having been introduced to Sanskrit in my village and my school and continued it, uh, sustained it throughout life, those, some of us here might listen to the Sanskrit, the sheer beauty of the Sanskrit language and the command of Dikshita to bring together the kind of words, concepts, adjectives, descriptions uh, for the various situations, events, places and deities on whom he is singing. And of course those who are musically knowledgeable uh, can enjoy the ragas, the different ragas which have been carefully chosen for each griha, all Carnatic ragas in this case. And as I mentioned already, the uh, more complex, rare talas which have been chosen. And Dikshida, through these kritis, uh, is seen by some expert commentators as keeping a tight control on the singers. They cannot take much liberties with these kritis. It's almost as if Western classical symphonies are written and the uh, artists have to play according to that. So let's all try and enjoy these today. There is the story of Raja Muchkunda who had worshipped the idol of Tyagaraja Swami, a form of Lord Shiva, in the Ananda Tandava dance at Tiruvarur. And uh, when the king had derelicted in his duty. He was punished by Mahavishnu and the Vigra of Tyagaraja Swami was taken away. Then it went to Lord Indra and when the king went and prostrated in apologies, the condition was that Vigraha will be given to him only for one night after which it will determine whether he has the qualifications to keep it or not. The king didn't want to part away with his idol, so with the help of Vishwakarma in a conspiracy, he got six more same vigrahas made. The next early morning, there was an identification of which was the original Sri Vigraha of Tyagaraja Swami. And it was Maharshi Agastya who had come to the Darbar. And Maharshi Agastya being a very keen 
and very erudite scholar and an intellectual, very sharp. He could identify the original Tyagaraja Vigraha. The question was, where would the rest six be kept? So immediately, Tiruvarur Chetra, it is said that you take birth in Tiruvarur, you get salvation. You die in Kashi, then you get salvation. So, an axis was drawn near and around Tiruvarur. And from that place, the rest six Vigrahas were also installed. Surya in Suryanar Kovil. Moon in Tingalur, Mars in Vaitishran Kovil, Mercury in Tirverkad, Jupiter in Alangudi, Venus in Kinjanur, Saturn slightly away at Tirunallar, but they are all in that axis of Tiruvarur, which is in the center. Rahu was taken to uh, uh, Tirunageshwaram and Ketu at Kirpakrapallam. The Rahu Ketu planets being shadow planets, they were not given an idol, but all the rest six plus the main at uh, Kabbalalaya Chetram is how the six idols came. That is why Muthuswami Dikshitar, who lived in Tiruvarur for 22 long years, doing Bhavati Bhikshandehi in white clothes, living in abject poverty, that is the time he composed the Navagara Kritis as well as the Kamalamba Navavarna. Our kritis, because it is said only from a struggle existence, from a stomach which is always waiting for food, that good artistic literature and compositions come. When you are taken care of, food, clothing and shelter, then also good music and good arts come. But the struggle from inside is the one which always tries to bring peace and solace to humanity. So, after the Tyagaraja, Tyagaraja and Namaste, Dhyanakriti, we will now go in the order in which Muthu Swami Dikshitar composed the Navagra Kritis. It is mentioned everywhere in the texts and uh, our chief guest of the morning also mentioned that because to give relief to a drummer in the Tiruvaru temple, out of concern for him, Muthu Swami Dikshitar created the Divakara Tanujam in Raga, Yadukula Kambodhi. We will also follow the same pattern. Though it is a Sunday, we are not going to go from Sun, Moon, Mars, etc. We are going to go the order in which Dikshitar created the composition. So our colleague and associate, Krishna Shastrigal, will first expound the shloka of Divakara Tanujam. The Kriti will follow. Then whatever little mind and knowledge I have, I'll explain, expound about the Kriti and the astrological significance. Om Yeka Dantai Vatnahe Vakra Dundaya Dimehi Tano Dhandi Prajotaya Adi Om Sanno Devi Rabitaya Abho Pabandu Vidaye Sanyo Abhishra Bandunaha Prajava De Natta De Dan Yanya Vishwa Jadani Paritaba Bhuva Yet Kama Sejigama Sano Suvayakishan Vadura Yinam Yama Yama Prastravangi Rogi Privisam Vidanaha Atva Mandra Akavidata Gan Raja Raja Navidama the Yaswa Sanishwara Yanamaha Vadivam Danura Karam Vil Devadai Yaman Sasta Pastra Niram Karpu Nilam Disai Pachimatic Baham, Rao the Merk, Samit, Bunni, Danyam, Trishna Tilam, Rao the Karpuyan.
said in the Puranas that Lord Sun, who is the leader of the galaxy, once wanted to know what is darkness, what is shadow. So all the other celestial beings said, Lord, when you are there, there cannot be darkness. When Surya is there, how can there be Andhera? But Sun would not uh, relent. He says, no, no, I want to see darkness. I want to taste what is darkness. It's often said that when you are very comfortable, you want to see what is misery. Long time back, there was a book by John Gal Galbraith, The Poverty of Affluence or The Affluence of Poverty. When you have nothing to eat, you have something called anxiety. But when you have so much to eat, there is something called anguish. Both are very negative traits. So when the sun god wanted to see what is darkness, he was forewarned that the repercussions or the consequences of you trying to see darkness can damage humanity. It is not safe. But Lord Sun would not relent because when something comes to the mind of a celestial being, we human beings become so stubborn. So imagine Lord Sun. So he spent one night with Chaya Devi, the goddess of darkness, Tamas and was born the great Shani Deva, who is the son of Su and son and Chaya Devi. That's why he said Divakara Tanujam. The most interesting part is Muthuswami Dikshitar's Navagra Kritis, Surya Murte Namosute is in praise of Sun who is the leader of the galaxy. In Shaneshwara, he has again brought Divakara Tanujam. There also Surya is there. He says the son of Surya and in Sanskrit the word Tanujam has got a meaning, a youthful, blissful appearance. Why he has said? Saturn is generally described as a deformed, with a squint eyed. People say when Saturn goes away it looks beautiful, when Lakshmi comes it is beautiful. But when the drummer in Thiruvaru temple had a stomach pain, a writhing pain, and when it was detected through astrology, obviously Dikshtar would not have sung a song just in praise of Shaneshwara unless the man was afflicted with a pain because of the planet Saturn this song would never have been sung but why? that reason has been explained in this backdrop where there is the astrological as well as the musical chart this is again Dikshtar's heritage which probably is not well known to humanity but this one thought should be brought out in astrology we have got the 12 zodiacs Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Capricorn, Aquarius is Pisces. Whereas in music, it starts from Libra, the Shadjam, because Venus is the Lord of Libra, Venus is the Lord of uh, Taurus, sorry, Taurus and Libra. Venus is the Lord of music, Venus is the Lord of arts, so the Sa starts up in Rishab, Rishabham, that is Taurus, then there are two Rishabhams, Chatushruti Rishabham, Shatshruti Rishabham, Gemini and Cancer. Gemini ruled by Mercury, Cancer ruled by Moon. Then the two Gandharams, Sadharana Gandharam, Antara Gandharam, Leo ruled by Sun, Virgo ruled by Mercury. Again, the Madhyamam, Shuddha Madhyamam comes to Venus, which is Libra. The upper house is Venus, which is Taurus. The lower house is Libra, which is again Venus. So, Sa and Ma. The Panchamam, after that there is a Pratimadhyamam, there are two Madhyamams. The Pratimadhyamam is with Scorpio, Vrichikarashi, which is headed by Mars. Then you have the Panchamam. Panchamam and Shadjamam have no Vedas. There is only one Sa, only the octaves are different. There is only one Pa, the octaves are different. So, the Panchamam is held by Jupiter at Sagittarius, because Jupiter and Venus are natural benefics. They can't do harm to others unless the natural chart is so miserable for a person. There are two Daivatams. This is very important for this song, Divakara Tanujam. One is Chatushruti Daivatam, that is Capricorn. And then is Shatshruti Daivatam, that is Aquarius, Kumbha. Dikshitra in this song says, Makara Kumbha Rashi Natham, the Lord of Makara and Kumbha. And then again the top house of Jupiter, that is Kaishiki Nishadam, the smaller Nishadam, which is Paishas, Meenam, and there is Kakali Nishadam, 
which is Aries Mesha. And in this Kali Yuga, it is said that it is Lord Saturn who commands. That is why you see there are lots of people are scared not by talks, not by negotiations. When something happens which is gory, something which is happens which is unacceptable to humanity, immediately people get cowed down, they bow down. That doesn't mean one should encourage this, but the fury of Saturn should always be calmed through the balm of music. Here, why he has chosen the Raga Yadukula Kambodhi? I would request Sridhar to just play the Aro Auro and the Jeeva Swaras. We will understand. If you see the Gandha, the Antara Gandharam, the Madhyamam, Shuddha Madhyamam, they are Jeeva Swaras of this Raga. That Sarima, the way he caught, that Madhyamam belongs to Venus at Libra. Lord Saturn's friends are Venus, very close. Then Panchamam, because Saturn is very well disposed towards Jupiter. Jupiter has neutral relationship with Saturn. But Saturn is very well disposed towards Jupiter. That is why when Saturn is posited in the house of Jupiter, he will not do a harm. And most importantly, that Chatushruti Dhaivatam, which is very important, the Dhaya and Yadukula Kambodhi, which is Saturn's own house, the second Dha, I am talking about the Shatshruti Dhaivatam, which is Aquarius, Kumbha. So, the Swaras which are important for Dikshitar, who have chosen Yadukula Kambodhi are the Antara Gandharam, the Shuddha Madhyamam, the Panchamam and the Shat Shruti Devatam, in which this entire song is based. And that is how he has tried to placate Lord Saturn and bring relief to the man who had the stomach pain. 